The FHFA released a quarterly report card for Fannie and Freddie, while another government agency is causing mortgage risk to elevate. Coming up on Tuesday's News Wrap. The Federal Housing Finance Agency released its quarterly performance report of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and overall the performance report was good, noting increases in Fannie and Freddie's earnings for the fourth quarter of 2013. Together, the two GSEs reported a combined full-year earnings of $132.7 billion. The Federal Home Loan Bank system had positive earnings as well, with $2.5 billion of earnings in 2013. The yearly earnings were down slightly from the $2.6 billion reported in 2012. The FHFA found that seriously delinquent loans continue to decline as government assistance programs helped afflicted borrowers. In the fourth quarter of 2013, seriously delinquent loans declined 7% to approximately 674,000 loans. Yearly, seriously delinquent loans declined by 27%. Delinquency rates for loans originated after 2009 remain at or below 1%. However, seriously delinquent rates for loans originated between 2005 and 2008 remain high and account for roughly 15% of single-family portfolios. The American Enterprise Institute put out a flash release of its National Mortgage Risk Index, a measure of the likelihood of purchase loan defaults under stressful economic conditions. According to the group, the index climbed to a series high last month to 11.8, indicating nearly 12% of loans would be at risk of default in the event of another downturn. The spike was credited to the FHA, which had higher market share and was increasing loan level risk. The FHA's home purchase volume jumped 36% in March. You can find more on these stories and all your latest industry headlines right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.